Baptist Health, UAMS and Jefferson Regional Hospital expect to get their shipments tomorrow, along with some community pharmacies, which will administer it to health care workers. For the rest of us, we may have to wait a bit, but as THV 11's Melissa Zigowitz shows us, one pharmacy is letting some people start getting in line. I'm just thrilled that we're finally here at this stage. Beth Fote made a rare trip inside a store Monday. I haven't been in a big store since February. To get her name on the list at Kavanaugh Pharmacy to get the COVID-19 vaccine. I have two grandbabies in California and I want to go see them. The pharmacy is taking down names for patients over the age of 65. More than 300 have signed up. And we get phone numbers, contact information for the patient. Pharmacist and owner Ann Pace says once the vaccine is available for people over 65, she will go down the list in order, but it will likely be a couple more months. The first shipments of the Pfizer vaccine are strictly for healthcare workers. My best guess, and certainly this is a guess, I'm hoping end of uh, January, early February is when we'll get to those people that are over 65. Senior citizens fall into the 1C phase of vaccine distribution, just behind health care providers, nursing home residents, and essential workers. PACE is also taking down names for people in health care. Now, certainly those people that are health care providers get bumped up to the top. She says her patients know it will likely still be a while. And I don't think anyone has any you know, hopes that I'm going to call them next week that it's time for a vaccine, but they're just excited to get their name on a list. Once the vaccine becomes available for senior citizens, Pace expects there to be enough doses to cover everyone quickly. I'm a happy person. I'll be more happy when I get the shot and the rest of everybody else gets it. If you would like to get your name on the list, call Kavanaugh Pharmacy or go in person. Now, Pace is not currently accepting names for anyone under the age of 65. Reporting from Little Rock, Melissa Zigowitz, THV 11 News.